this is not a spring chicken. The great news today is housing prices are skyrocketing. What? You don't believe me? Of course, this is from the same group yesterday that said, oh, I'm sorry, but for the last four years, we've been dealing with inaccurate information. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. Well, I think you'll like so. And Democrats prove the wealthy do not create jobs? Uh, 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 this is, once again, they're basically saying that be, be, they're getting ready to dump the wealthy tax today because it was a no-go even among the Democrats, folks. I mean, because you got to understand, every member of the House and Senate is a Democrat. It qualifies for getting their taxes raised, and they don't do anything that raises their taxes. But, uh, well, aren't they exempt from any law that affects them? Uh, they're anyway? exempt from laws that affect them, except members of their family who are also wealthy. Ah. Yeah, say your son is making a, has a million dollars a year salary working for the government. You don't exempt your son. You exempt yourself and your wife, but you don't exempt your family members that are not living with you. Oh. But uh, here's a trick. The one guy, uh, I heard one of the Democrats, one of the, this is one of the... The guy said, one of the Democrats today said, just the most god-awful, stupid piece of thing I've ever heard Harry Reid say in his life. He said, you tell me a poor person, he said on the floor, and uh, this, that creates jobs, and he said, everyone knows that Colonel Harlan Sanders was a poor person that created a job. And they said, well, no, Colonel Sanders used his money to open Kentucky Fried Chicken. They said the word is his money. Poor people don't have money. They can't open businesses and they can't create jobs. They said there was never a job created by a person that had no money. Uh -huh. But, uh, and Harry Reid didn't like that. But then he stupidly said it, that we have finally once and for all put a lie to the fact that wealthy people create jobs. Mm. Okay, um, General Motors, wealthy. Ford, wealthy. Uh, AT&T, wealthy. Uh, you, you, you tell me somebody that mentioned, give me the name of one business that is ran by somebody that has no money that's hiring people. That's true, huh? Yeah. And Japan launches its second spy satellite this year. Oh, good, because they're launching their second spy satellite, which means I get to launch the brand new, carry, remember the new Obama family? <laughs> We've got, but, uh, what's his Superfly. Name? Superfly Obama. <laughs> Uh, you know, every time I see these things, I just laugh. These are super fly monkeys. We got, we got Aren't a, they funny? We, we got a large family of super fly monkeys, folks. <laughs> they make lots of noise. <laughs> Basically, he can go like 75 foot across the room. He didn't think that a member of Obama's family could fly like that. So. It is sort of funny that the name is Superfly. It is. I mean, that's literally the name of these monkeys. Yeah, it? but if you think about the fact, I, I actually worked on black movies in the 70s called Superfly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Superfly is the fastest member we have of Obama's family. So. <laughs> they can sit there and go. Yeah, see, see, he's got a mask on, so you can't really tell he's he's a superhero because you put the cool little mask. Oops, I took it off his head. So uh oh! I took his mask off. And sky watchers get a rare treat: a total lunar eclipse. No problem is, our, uh, we we lost it because of, you know you have no sun. I mean, no clouds to see it. We had nothing but clouds, though. We did have a we did have an invitation to go to NASA and see it, though. Oh, that would have been cool. And then we got an invitation from a place locally here, the observatory. Of course, you had to be there at 4.30 a.m. We don't do... Okay, the last time we did something at 4.30 a.m. was the Rose Parade, and we don't do the Rose Parade anymore. <laughs> NASA, okay, it's February launch of private space station trip. Well, I know. Well, um, because what's happening, um, I, I find that... I don't understand that because NASA has absolutely nothing to do with going to the space station anymore. Really? No, Obama shut down the shuttle. This is being paid. This is the Russians sending people up. The Russians have been taking people up on private trips for years. We don't, you know, Obama just simply says, screw you, space station, because I'm a Muslim. I know, I'm a Muslim, and Muslims don't believe in space travel mm. or outer space, so. And dividends to the four is investment theme in um, Asia. Yeah, which they're, you know, no, what, nobody understands. Okay, I, I just heard people dumping dividends on virtually everything under the sun today. Markets going up 
on the news that that Morgan Stanley is going down the drain. The market's going up on the news. That China doesn't have any more money to put into their economy. The market's going up on we've got less people looking for jobs because they don't they've given up on hunting for jobs. So unemployment's going down. People are giving dividends. For what? I know. And scientists hone in on missing link of physics. Yeah, you know what the missing link for physics is? It is Superfly. <laughs> That's the best link. I don't think he likes to fly. You don't? No. <laughs> we've only had we've only had Superfly Obama since yesterday. We just so. got these in. I know. Can you tell? It's like we can't resist playing. I know. We play, we're shooting. Actually, the first time we had, we were shooting him with the automobile. I know. We love that noise from him, though. It's really kind of funny. Spending bill in jeopardy as lawmakers bicker. Okay, what has happened is just a few minutes ago, after insulting every Republican in the country, after calling people that don't believe in the, in the unemployed as people, the uh, Democrats are deciding to back off on every single thing that Obama demanded on because he can't get... That he can't get the support of them. They said, what happened? There was a rebellion in the Democratic Party last night. And a lot of people said, let's see, the Republicans are going to let you raise taxes. The Republicans are going to, the public in the past, the, the, everything that the president wants, and the president has told Harry Reid and, and Nancy Pelosi to stop it from happening. <laughs> They said the press is, okay, you got, I, I mean, I, I saw one of the very left-wing liberal people talking this morning about it. Let's see, the president is going to get taxes on the wealthy. The president is going to get the extension, you're going to get a potential unemployment insurance. The president is going to get this, and all the president has to do is to sign off on a program that's going to create about 100,000 jobs, and he's going to veto it. Well, that veto <laughs> Okay, when... when his threat of a veto vanished, then he had no, you know, because they know that they can pass it in the Senate because enough Democrats, especially all those Democrats that want that pipeline coming through, they see, they say, we're going to tax, we're going to get increased taxes to spend more money, and we're going to get the pipeline to create more jobs in our state, and we're going up for election. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we're even going to support this president, his policies. Uh, and the EU without Britain moves towards fiscal deal. You can't do it without Britain. Okay. I know, but they're going to do it. They're going to do it anyway. Which is uh, the, the, uh, uh, okay. If Britain opts out, the EU is finished. It's totally done, and Britain is no longer going. Britain says it's ridiculous. I mean, they're wanting the countries that have money to pay for the countries that don't have any money, which means they all end up with no money. So that's just that's a stupid thing. Pay, you know, let them collapse. The, the trick is. Let them collapse and then build all over again. That's what happens. It, you know, all they're doing because of Obama and people like Obama is making the situation worse. Sooner or later, everything is going to collapse like a house of cards. And instead of taking just a few things down, they're going to take the whole world down, like is what happened after World War One. Syria death toll hits five thousand as insurgency spreads. I know insurgency, basically <laughs> insurgency. You know what an insurgent in in um, uh, uh, in Syria looks like? What? See, this is an insurgency in Syria. This is an insurgency insurgent after they find out he's an insurgent. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive Cuba targets military firm in corruption probe. Uh, yeah, have you ever seen a $10,000 toilet seat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to go back to, um, you know, uh, Independence Day when Jeff Hurst simply, well, how did you pay for this? And he said, you actually think that a, a hammer cost $5,000 or a nut cost $1,000? said, mm -hmm. where do you think that money's going? Mm -hmm. They're using the money to build other things. So when you have a corrupt... Uh, corrupt firm that supplies military stuff, which generally means the money's being siphoned off to another military project. And MS Corzine said to know, oh, of customer back loan. Yeah, and he's trying to say it never happened, and yet the people that, are, that got the loan money, I mean, they basically got the money, said Corzine signed off on it. Oh, which really? Means he, they, okay, because Corzine is a, is a Democrat, and they only want to throw him under the wheel, bus of the wheel so much. They basically are letting him retract what he said this week. 
interesting. Isn't that amazing? They're, they're letting him go back and undo not taking the fifth, fifth you know, uh, that doesn't work that way. Once you say it. Okay, it's already yeah, said I, and everybody's heard it. I worked on an episode of the Rockford Files years ago. And, uh, okay, the, uh, when they're in grand jury hearings, you're not permitted to have a lawyer in there. So the Gretchen Corbett was really a great looking woman in a swimsuit. <laughs> we played the lawyer on the Rockford Files. She gave him the advice. When they ask you what's your name, plead the Fifth Amendment. They said the worst they're going to hold you for is, um, you know, uh, contempt of court. But don't talk, don't just say that I plead the Fifth Amendment, no matter what they ask you. And he thought that was stupid, but he did it. And he pleaded the Fifth Amendment. The other person in the case that was brought in to testify said, "My name is such and such." And then they they uh, tossed him in a jail cell to stay there until he answered the questions. The instant he told people what his name was, he could no longer plead the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> So. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, and this one. Just because the press says it is, doesn't mean it is. It is. <laughs> is it? <laughs>